Okay. Dr. Lochika, may I ask a question? Yes, sir. We have. Since how long you are associated with this project? 10 years and we are live now, sir. We are live on uh, Facebook now, I think. Okay. And uh, okay. if uh, we can have uh, the camera with Uncle Sargam live to see him will be really good. Right, right. So for everybody that is uh, with us today, um, we are uh, continuing in uh, pushing forward TB in children with the purpose of creating awareness of what an important uh, matter or problem it is. And with the purpose of making people understand that actually tuberculosis not only that exists, not only that infects adults, but also infects children, makes children with TB sick. And unfortunately, a large number of kids in 2020 are dying because of tuberculosis. It is very upsetting and disturbing for every single one of us that every single day we have around 700 children that lose their life to tuberculosis according to the official data of World Health Organization. And this is completely unacceptable because TB is a curable disease. TB is uh, cheap to treat. Uh, we have how to uh, diagnose and treat it, and it is also fully preventable. That's why a Stop TB partnership, uh, we are continuing to push the uh, matter of TB in children. Of course, joining our partners from all the other organizations uh, fighting for TB in children. And uh, it's extremely important that we start with what I think is the crucial piece, which is people in the world understanding that TB in children is an issue. I am joined today by uh, an amazing, an amazing uh, 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 friend, uh, Uncle Sargam uh, from Pakistan. Uh, he is well known in Pakistan. Uh, he's well known for children in Pakistan and he uh, made me a, a big favor uh, to be here with us today, uh, to be able to discuss a little bit about his work. Uncle Sargam, hello. Uh, hello. I'm happy to, to have you here with us. Thank and, you, uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as full of energy as every time. So if you can uh, tell us a few things about uh, you know your uh, engagement in uh, in uh, supporting the TB movement uh, in Pakistan, uh, the TB work and the TB response. First, how did you how did you connect to this area? Thank you very much, Dr. Lucia. <coughs> I will try to explain, but my English is not so good. So Miss Kinza would help me in this regard. So how, you asked me how, how I was engaged. In Pakistan, engagement is something else. It's, uh, it's before marriage. So the similar, uh, I mean, uh, phenomena happened with me because when I got this project, I meant to know, to, to create awareness among the children and the, the people of Pakistan. I was, I didn't know anything much about this uh, disease. Tuberculosis is a very common in this country and it's, it's, it's very good that somebody has given an emphasis or uh, has been taken care of. Uh, but my question, uh, my involvement in, in this project is because I, I'm, I am, I'm related with, with the children of Pakistan. So it's, it is my duty to, to give them the awareness as far as I, I know according to my knowledge and my ability. So I'll try my best and uh, with, with your support and with the support of uh, people here in Pakistan working on this project. So my involvement is, uh, is natural. So I, I do any, anything uh, good for children to, to, to create messages or to, to talk with to them or to go to the sites and 
go to the remote areas and talk about it and and give the awareness. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, and we are very grateful for this because what we need is really uh, people like you, <laughs> uh, amazing puppets <laughs> that are able to speak to the children and to speak, uh, you know, to their language. And, uh, um, you know, I will also, towards the end, I would like you to ask me some question and also to, to have some message for people viewing it. But um, it will be good if you have, um, uh, you know, any uh, thing that uh, you want to share uh, about tuberculosis uh, with the children of Pakistan. So um, I, I hope that Kinza will help me in this regard because I couldn't listen to you properly. I was, uh, I was thinking about the badge I have. Up, up, uh, up, what, what is the? The, the NTV badge. Uh, NTV anti, badge. On, so I was fixing it. So could you repeat a little the, the question you asked me? What I asked was, so first of all, is really great uh, with the badges. We are sending to Pakistan uh, badges with uh, Hello Kitty as well and uh, tuberculosis because we are developing uh, uh, this uh, partnership uh, to raise awareness at a, sky, at a higher uh, scale uh, uh, on uh, TB, uh, but I wanted to say if you have any message uh, from you uh, as Uncle Sargam that you want to tell uh, people of Pakistan about tuberculosis or children with, uh, uh, about right. tuberculosis. Right, the, the, my message is, is, is simple and clear that it is a curable disease and, and with a, with a if, if we if we uh, what you take treatment, take treatment regularly for six months, it could be cured. And we can, the, the person who is uh, in this uh, uh, affected or suffering this disease could spend a normal life again, it could become a very normal person in this society. Uh, for the children, it is, uh, it's the, the most of the responsibility, I mean, set upon the, the elders of their homes and their teachers and their anybody who is bigger or elder than uh, the children, they can uh, make the atmosphere such a in in such a such a way or in uh, to to develop the 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 ideas of of making a, a, a pleasant atmosphere around the children. Uh, it could be the, the people of children of the whole world and especially of this area, uh, uh, our area, Pakistan, India, and South Asia and Asia, they, they could prevent this disease. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, explain it more. Uh, if it is something uh, needed more, and I'll request Kinza to explain more on my behalf. Yes, I think it's very well. Uh, I think uh, because we have our uh, translator for the next one, you can you can speak in the language, and then uh, you know we will have the translation to help us as needed. Okay. Okay. I I, uh, I also want to say that I think this is really good, Uncle Sargam, and I think what will be very important is to really continue to share this type of information in your interaction with children and families. We need to get this forward. So now I want to ask you, Uncle Sargam, how did you, what did you do during this COVID time? How are you handling your, 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 uh, your life? Do you still meet children? Can you tell, tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm very, I'm very, um, <clears throat> very happy to and I'm satisfied that the, with the development of, of science, I mean, when I was a child and I started this program in 1976 uh, on television, there was no internet, there was no email, there was, it was very straight and simple life we were spending. Now the, 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 the technology around us and uh, the, 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 the soft, uh, what, what do you say, social media and 
and internet, it helped me a lot. So even then, even in, in nine and 10 months, I was uh, associated with the children of Pakistan through this medium or through this science or to, through this uh, uh, development of, of, of uh, internet. <clears throat> so uh, this, in this way, I know that the, there are there were holidays in in the, in the schools and the children was mostly stayed at at home, so they got uh, me more more near to them to them because of this screen this computer screen or or net, so I I'm satisfied that I can do even there is no if we, I can't go to. Uh, outside or uh, difficult outside uh, even then i'm at home i can i can spread my my i can talk to the children and i exchange my ideas with them and interact with them And one more thing that uh, I would like to explain that I, I was in a in a in a small uh, film or the or the movie made uh, by people here uh, on covered or on 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 the messages to prevent this uh, virus and many other things. Uh, wash your hand and keep the social distance. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah. I'm very yeah. happy, I'm very happy. That's very good. So Uncle Sargam, uh, two things. One thing that it will be very important for you to, to let uh, kids and families know is obviously not just uh, uh, as you, the things that you said were absolutely spot on and very good, but it's also uh, the fact that you see, we all hear a lot about COVID. And we all hear that children are less affected by COVID and that a lot of children are not wearing the mask uh, in, uh, because of COVID. With tuberculosis is different. Actually, adults are infecting the children with COVID, with tuberculosis, sorry. Adults are infecting the children with tuberculosis. A, a, a country in which the number of children with tuberculosis is growing, it means that there are a lot of adults that for whatever reason are infecting the children with TB. It, it means they are either not diagnosed or they don't know. So one important piece is if you can tell people that TB is actually much more dangerous for children than COVID because TB is also killing and making children with TB very sick versus COVID in which the forms are much more simpler. But I want you to knowing and interacting for so long time with children what do you think will work for us to do with you and with children and with adults in Pakistan to make sure that the word is spread? And maybe you can speak in your language and translation can happen because maybe you have a lot to say. It's like, okay, how do we, how do we make this active um, push on TB in children in such a way that we increase the knowledge of people around TB? What do you think will work? Okay, I'll try. Uh, you know, um, in our society, in this area, uh, 99 or 95 percent children are uh, affected by the, the elders, the, their parents and their other elders. Uh, so, uh, number one, uh, the whole, I mean, uh, the society, even including elders and children, they should, they, are, they should be in, in a good health. And so they, they they won't spread the the germs or the virus to to the to the, to the others. So number one, number two is uh, that uh, this to me to my suggestion is that this is about the information about, about this disease and awareness should be in the in the syllabus of the children. So they they should know it from the beginning from the schools that it is a very dangerous disease. 
and it can affect uh, to their i mean in, in their life lives and uh, i i think it should be spread on the screen by the television or the tv programs in 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 the schools and in in our shows in the live shows also and uh, you know when i was a small boy in my schools and they the their people would come and they talk about uh, tiber closes and we didn't know about that at that time and it should be so my again is my suggestion is to and i will talk to the to the here to the minister of education also that um, what what are the resources how can we include this in our syllabus in for, for the especially for the children up to 8th or 9th class so they should know the the importance uh, of uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the, the disease and this is very disastrous uh, for the for the people for the for the or the person who is working with the for the labor class who is working with their uh, i mean i mean using their body to in, engage uh, labor so they should be in, in a good health and for that the two or th three things i will try to make a jingle or small songs um, to 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 give the awareness among the children and and the, and the and the poor class especially Who, who don't have the resources so uh, with the help of uh, here the office you have here uh, i i can design a program on this topic okay great i think i think this is really very good because i think what you said was about using the school as a channel as well as uh, media traditional media television or radio but also let's see how we can use social media it, it needs indeed to be a not only the you know a special tailored uh, material for this pakistan is a uh, one of the most important countries uh, for us uh, in stop tb in terms of doing our best to support we have strong relationships there with the government with the private sector with our partners from dopasi foundation the stop tb partnership pakistan uh the, and uh the culminating obviously with the tb program and the uh, and the colleagues there and uh, as i said already private sector so we love we love uh, very much to support pakistan and also we have a working group for childhood tb and the chairman is uh, is uh, dr farhana um in islamabad who is chairing this global group on childhood tb and with whom i had a chat before so pakistan is very close to our heart so we have to really use uh, as much your uh, time <laughs> or your availability to really try and push uh, these things forward so as we are heading towards uh, the end of our little chat it will be good if you can do you do you uh, have anything to ask me and then i will give you the floor to 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 have a final message for the for the children that i hope we are looking at us but before that do you have anything to ask me there's one thing uh, i would like to ask first of all let me explain that my character uncle sargam which is in front of you uh, started my career as a humorist in, in on, on television and gradually it turned i i i recognize or i felt that people listen to me and they listen carefully and they 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 give reference after that even the president of pakistan i talked to him and uh, so i got the impression that uh, i should turn myself into some serious things also so along with my humor or 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 or, or uh, comedy i i put uh, serious things serious dialogues or serious messages into my into my performance so that is a very effective i mean i got a, uh, a special education or or the, the development of my communication abilities uh, from the usa um, two three years back and uh, i i got a lot of ideas from there 
uh, how I can use this this uh, this character, the puppet character I am. So uh, I I did it. I did it. And on the on this special Children's Day, I gave a message which which was well received by the children and the adults in Pakistan. So my question is that what should a third world country uh, sh should have to prevent this uh, disease tuberculosis? You know, I will tell you, and uh, it's a very um, it's a very simple answer, uh, but very difficult to do it. The most important thing to end TB is to want to end TB. Because, and not only by the people or the people that are affected, and, but most important by the leaders of the country, by the president, by the prime minister, by the government. If there is a will, it is possible to end TB. It's, it's feasible, it's preventable, it's cheap. There are sources of fundings available. And we observe now that with COVID, when there is a will, things can move. Research can move. Uh, diagnosis can move. Uh, millions of people tested for COVID. If we had the same will as we see with COVID for tuberculosis, we would be in a very different place. With TB, the problem is that we don't see uh, the same drive by the heads of states and governments and main stakeholders in wanting really to end TB. And what we want, so what we hope to do is we try to tackle that level. It's getting better after the UN high level meeting on TB. We see a bit more understanding some movement, but we also try to create the pressure from. Uh, grassroots up in which people, the big masses of people that are being affected, especially in countries with high burden, with hundreds of thousands of people with TB, that they put a pressure on their governments as well to request an end of this disease. The drama is that with TB, we were, TB was here before COVID, is killing a huge number of people. 1.4 million people with TB are dying every year. It's more or less the same number as COVID is killing, but keep in mind that in the COVID numbers, we have some high income countries like the, like the US and others that are contributing a lot. If you take out the high income countries and you leave just the, the countries which are having some struggles with their health systems, TB is by far the biggest killer. And in spite of that, TB was here, COVID is coming like a tsunami, right? Uh, is hitting hard, but we people are getting together. There will be a vaccine. There are a lot of movements, so COVID will go. TB will remain, and very likely, because of the disturbing with COVID, probably TB will go even higher. So what we miss the most in the world to end TB is the willingness to do it. Every time we want to achieve and to do something, if we put our heads there, as, as a human race, we are able to achieve. So that's what is the most important, and that's where we will need help to push. That's, so, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. That's very good. <clears throat> yes. Uncle, yeah. so because we have to close this, which was an amazing discussion, and I'm sure we will continue because we need to do some things for Pakistan as we spoke. If you have a message for those that are looking at us in the closing of our little chat. Well, uh, to to be a member of this society or a Pakistani, I would like to see my nation or my, my society healthy so we can deal with such kind of viruses and diseases. And the, the tuberculosis is, the, the, is, 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 is most dangerous and killing a lot of people in the world is uh, a warning to us to take care of it and uh, spread our awareness to the to the people. And the other thing is the good thing is the good news is if you continue with the treatment and it can be removed, it can be finished. Great. So thank you so much for spending the time with us. I know Thanks. that the 
this was the first time, but for sure is not the last time. So we, uh, we will stay in touch and we will have you as our guest. And also we will try to push to do some great stuff in Pakistan with your help. Thank you Thank very you much, so Doctor. Much. It's very nice talking to you and I got, and I'm very sorry. And I, because of my bad English and this is the first time I'm talking in, in this language. And uh, I hope you would have understood the, 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 the talk or the ideas which I was speaking about. You spoke a fantastic English. I couldn't believe that it's first time you spoke in English. Right. And I wish I'm able to say even thank you very much in your language. So thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Dr. Lucia. Thank, thank you. you and thank be well. And let's hope for all the best. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you.